Welcome back to another lesson. We continue with our revision series. And in this video, we are looking at an exam that was done in November 2023. RCHRP03, Accounting and Financial Management. Um, our focus in this video will be on question number four. And the question reads, the following balances were extracted from the books of Maito traders as at the 1st December 2021. We have the items there, purchases and sales. You have inventory, rent and rates, motor vehicle expenses, salaries and wages, insurance, cash and bank, account receivables, payables, sundry expense, building, furniture, motor vehicle. Now, additional information, you have inventory at the end of the year, that is the closing inventory, 30,000. Rate owing is as at that 1st December 2021, cost generation is 500. Part of the wages and salaries were, was 1,800 of loading of the goods, provision of the depreciation. So, uh, we are told to prepare a statement of comprehensive income. Now, before you prepare a statement of comprehensive income, you require to do some workings. Eh? Workings. Let's start with working one. The first working here, we shall have rent expense. Rent expense what has been what has been in, uh, written here rent and rates is 4500 4500 uh, if i was to prepare an account let me just prepare rent expense balance brought down or let me just say bank because this were paid through bank bank is how much of is it rent expense here as per the bank is 4500 bring here 4500 there is accrued accrued rent accrued rent you are going to credit this with rent or recall this on accrued expenses we credit this one with rent, how much? 500, and we debit this one with accrual, or accrued, accrued expense account, 500. So our rent expense that will go to the income statement is 5,000. 5,000. This accrued will go to the statement of comprehensive income, as a liability but in this question you are not looking no statement of financial position as a liability but in this question we are specifically focusing on comprehensive income let's go to part uh, three part of the wages and salary was 1000 wages for offloading goods to the warehouse you see when you are when you are buying goods from your supplier or from the manufacturer and you incur the expenses to bring those goods to your warehouse or to your shop those are not allowable expense those ones they are consolidated with your purchases or in other words we say that these are capitalized expenses they are called carriage inwards so they were included as wages and salary which is not correct so we come here and find our correct position of wages and salaries Wages and salaries, wages and salary is a debit balance. They were paid through bank. Um, how much wages and salary? Uh, they were paid 54,000. 54,000. But this, this part goes to carriage inwards. Carriage inwards. Uh, the other part goes to carriage inwards. We, here we are going to have 
carriage inwards carriage inward you remove this part from the wages and salary 1800 1800 and debit carriage inwards with wages and salaries 1800 so the correct position of wages and salaries will be 54000 minus 1800 and that give me 52000 that is balance carried down 52200 since 54000 54000 now let's see if there is any an adjustment. Uh, here we have been told depreciation, but depreciation is on costs. Building depreciation expense. Here we have depreciation. Depreciation expense. Expenses are debit. So we have building. Building is five percent times what? Your thought is, is on cost. Uh, do you have information about the cost? Yes. Building cost is 100,000. Uh, 100,000. Building cost is 100,000. If you take 5% of 100,000, this is 5,000. Ah, yeah. When you come to motor vehicle, it's 20%. 20% of 25,000 motor vehicle motor vehicle is 20% times 25,000 this give me what uh, times 25,000 that give me 5% as well now give me 5,000 uh, another depreciation expense we have is furniture 20% but this is on reducing balance so furniture furniture is 20% on reducing balance means I need to calculate on the net book value furniture uh, on reducing balance times 6800 6800 this one reducing balance you calculate on the net book value 0 0.2 times 6,800. That give me 1360. So I'm done with the depreciation expense. I don't think there is anything else I need to capture here. Sales include. Uh, there is something else we need to adjust here. Sales include 5,000 for delivery to be made in 2023. Since we are counting for 2022, you check 2022. We can't. In fact, this is 2021. We can't include these sales for 2023. So, when you come to your sales account, sales account, you have sales perhaps were paid through bank, which were how much? How much sales in the statement? Uh, 272,000. This is 272,000. 272,000. You reduce these sales for sales for 2023. So now, this is 5,000. Reduce these sales for 2023. You see, you have made sales, but they are to be delivered in 2023. So these ones, they have not. This is advance payment advance payment or we could just call them prepayments uh, say prepayments prepayments of 5000 the difference now gives you the correct sales for that year this is uh, 260 what uh, 267000 mm, balance carried down so those are, that is the correct position of sales. And um, when you come to allowance for account receivable, those is to be adjusted 2% of account receivable. That means bad debts. Do you have bad debts in, um, in our 
question, bad debts, bad debts, no, they are not there. So, what we are going to do, we are going to provide provision for bad debts, 2% of the debtors. So, here, provision for bad debts, provision for bad debts is 2% times debtors or account receivables. Let me see. Do we have account receivables? Account receivable is that 4,000. 2% of that 4,000. Mm -hmm. What do you have here? 2% uh, times that 4,000. That is 680. So that is a provision that is 0 0.02 times that 4,000. 680. Correct. Um, we are done with the adjustments. We are done with the adjustment. What we need now to do is to prepare a statement of comprehensive income. And this business is Maito Traders. Maito Traders. Come here and prepare that. Maito Traders. Statement of comprehensive income. Statement of comprehensive income comprehensive income for the year for the year ending that first December 2021 we begin with sales Sales pick the adjustment. Here we have sales that were adjusted here. Uh, we say that is 272. That was 272 minus 5. That is 267,000. Sales here is 267,000. 267,000. Were there sales returns? Let's check. Were there sales returns? rent purchases no sales returns so that next we look at the cost of sales that is our our next item that is cost of sales cost of sales the cost of sales will begin with in opening inventory opening inventory let's look at uh, our question here trial balance uh, do you have open inventory correct inventory as per january was four thousand we come here and bring that four thousand then we look for purchases purchases as per as per this trial balance, purchases were 150,000. Purchases were 150,000. But we had carriage inwards. Carriage inwards. Carriage inwards from our adjustment. Uh, carriage inwards is 1,800. 1,800. Then we move on to, do you have returns outwards? No, there are no returns outwards. No returns. Um, there are no returns outwards. So we go to closing inventory. Inventory at the end of the year was 30,000. So, closing inventory. Closing inventory was 30,000. So, uh, we subtract this. We have 4,000 4, plus 150,000 plus 1,800, subtract 30,000. That gives us 
125,800. This is the cost of sales and it's going to give us gross profit. Gross profit, we take 267,000 minus the cost of sales and it's going to give us 141,200. Now, we ask ourselves, are there other incomes that were in this question? If you look at these, there are no other incomes. So, we shall move on to expenses. Let's look at the expenses now. Expenses, we shall, first of all, let's uh, begin from the top. Uh, we have rent and rates, and there was some adjustment. We made adjustment, rent and rates were 5,000. Rents and rates is 5,000. Let's look for more expenses from the trial balance. Uh, we have motor vehicle expenses, 3,000. We come here, motor vehicle expenses. Motor vehicle expense, 3,000. We have salaries and wages, salaries and wages. We made adjustment to salaries and wages. Uh, what did we, salaries and wages, we found 52,200 is the one that is supposed to be in our statement of comprehensive income. Um, let me look for more expenses here. Uh, have, there is insurance, 2,600. Bring insurance. Here we have insurance, 2,600. What else do we have? Insurance. Uh -huh. There is, uh, you see these bad debts. You see, bad debts, there was you are told that allowables, uh, allowance for account receivable is to be adjusted to 2%. That means, and we found 2% to be 680. So if it is 680, that was provided. And uh, the bad debts incurred were 1,000. Therefore, means the difference is what go to provision to income statement six eight. That is three twenty. Bad debts. You see, the the business had already provided provision for bad debts at six hundred and eighty. So the actual bad debts. Uh, sorry, this bad debts. The actual bad debts then becomes the difference. Bad debts. Um, any other expense we have here? Mm -hmm. Sundry expense, 500. Sundry expense, 500. This is sundry expense. Sundry expense, 500. The next, of course, is depreciation. Depreciation, we have building. We have motor vehicle and we have furniture. Uh, what what figures are they? Building is five thousand, motor vehicle five thousand, the other one that insist. So here you have five thousand, five thousand that insist. Now let's check if there is other expense that we have perhaps not captured. If you look at this um this statement we have captured all the expenses all the expenses have been captured and uh, therefore we get the total expenses have 5000 plus 3000 that is 8000 8000 plus 52200 that is 60200 60200 plus 2600 plus 
320 plus 500 plus 5000 plus 5000 plus 1360 that give us 74980 when you subtract this pick 141 200 minus the answer <coughs> you get 66 as this is our net profit net profit becomes 66220 and that is the end of that uh, uh, part of this question we move on to the next part it give, tells us that we explain five types of errors that are not disclosed by a trial balance. Errors that are not disclosed by a trial balance. The first error is called error of omission. Error of omission. Here, you see that uh, this, this uh, entry is completely omitted. Eh? So we are saying that if any invoice, if any invoice or other source document or other source documents get lost, get lost, then the entry will be omitted from the records. Then that entry that entry will be omitted will be omitted from the records so if you want to correct this you go and record them as they could so you see that to rectify this error make journal entries and post them as if or as it would have been if there were no missing vouchers or no missing invoices so that is it that is the first error so in this kind of error you cannot trace it through trial balance the next type of error is error of commission error of commission this is this is an entry this is an entry of transaction entry of a transaction in a wrong account in a wrong account for the same class of item for the same class for the same class e.g. When you wanted to record goods sold to A. Smith, but you record these goods were sold to J. Smith, you see all of them are your, your, your customers, so you may not be able to know the errors because they all have the same debit uh, balances. Another error is called error of principle error of principle here we are seeing that uh, this is this is an entry this is an entry of a transaction in the wrong class of account in the wrong in the wrong class of account the wrong class of account but they are not able you are not able to detect this for instance you purchase a motor vehicle and you record it in purchases account so you see purchases account will have a debit balance and also motor vehicle will have a debit balance so you have recorded it in the wrong class of account so in this case, you may not be in a position to 
know the error. The next one is called the error of original entry. Error of original entry. Here we say that uh, this is a wrong entry. This is a wrong entry. This is a wrong entry made in the books of original. This is a wrong entry made in the books made in the books of original entry. That means this error has been transferred all through. E.g. a debit of a debit of 950 recorded as recorded as 490 or 590. You see that means that error will be carried all through. Uh, that error cannot be noticed easily. Another one is error of complete reversal. Error of complete reversal of entry. Complete reversal of entry. Here we are seeing that occurs when occurs when when an entry occurs when occurs when entries are re reversed entries are reversed e.g. payments to john payment to john debited in the cash book debited in the cash book and credited to john credited to john so what is happening here when you make payments to john you are supposed to reduce the amount in your cash book that means supposed to be credited instead of crediting you went and debited the cash book so that is complete reversal of entry what was supposed to be debited has been credited and what was supposed to be credited has been debited but the transaction took place with the correct figures so that is called an error of original entry good we come to an end of this question and uh, we meet in our next video. Goodbye.